Steve. Hey, Steve. Yeah? Where are we with that new website we've been working on? You said it would be launched by the end of Q3. That's tomorrow. Um, there might be a problem with that. What kind of problem? Well, we did what you said. We set up the production environment and merged the code with the machine learning implementation from the dev environment. Everything worked just fine. On dev. And? We just can't get it. <coughs> working on production. Excuse me? Oh, it doesn't <coughs> work on production. Your hamster is lurking abroad? It doesn't work on prod. We tried everything. It was working on dev, but when we deployed, we ran into server issues due to the Windows environment. I think we have to rebuild it from the ground up. No! How could this happen? Why didn't we see this coming? There was no way to. We read all of the documentation in advance. It said, easy to configure, deploy at the press of a button. But when we actually built it, it didn't work. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, I tried to tell you. Complex platforms are risky to build upon without first employing rapid prototyping. Even a one sprint proof of concept on the top three competitors would have revealed strengths and weaknesses of each before investing months, heck, years into the development process. You knew this was an option? Why didn't you say anything? John, I tried bringing this up in Q1 in our product roadmap meeting. Remember, I read about it on that blog from the team at SF AppWorks. Apparently, they specialize in this kind of rapid, iterative prototyping and deployment. Huh, that's really smart when you think about it. For a small upfront investment, you reduce your immense technical risk on the line and... Uh, John? That's it, I quit. Not again. It's the third time this week. <laughs>